Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find values of x, find values of x for which this power series will converge. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we're going to use the ratio test. So with the ratio test, we always need to compute this value. We always need to get a n plus 1 divided by a n. Well, dividing by a n is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of a n, which will be this. So now tidy this whole thing up. That will then give you this because, um, uh, well, look, if you look at this block here, visualize this block here as being one block multiplying with another block. And then, uh, and then visualize this block here as being 3 to the power of n times 3. And then uh, visualize this as being 3 to the power of n times 3 squared. So now, um, now, uh, now, uh, let me think. Now this block will cancel out with this block here. And then, uh, and then this block will cancel out with, with, uh, with this block. And then this 3 here will cancel out with one of the 3's, which will give you 1, 3. And then what you're left here is this, which will be this. You're left with this, which will be this. And, uh, and your n here, your n here. Okay, so, so if you tidy this whole thing up, it will then give you this. And then, um, and then, uh, and then, and then now, uh, now you, you, uh, you group all the n's together. Uh, group, parent. Um, well, group, group all the n's together. So you've got this thing here. So group all the n's together. So, uh, so grouping all the n's together will then give you this. And then, uh, uh, well, this thing here can be visualized as this. So now, uh, n is, Remember, n moves from from uh, zero to infinity, so n is always positive. So, so this 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 will always be positive. So you don't really need the absolute sign here. So that will then give you uh, that will then take you to to here. So with the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. Well, if this value here is uh, is less than one, then we know it's going to converge. If it's greater than one, we know it's going to diverge. If it equals to one. Then, then it's inconclusive. Well, we just we just computed this value here, and it equals this. So we need to get this to be less than one for convergence. So for convergence, for convergence, we would need to 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 set this to be less than one. Well, don't forget the limit as n tends to infinity. This thing here is going to head towards one. So so this thing here will be one. So 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 for this to be less than one. You, you can ignore this because this is going to head towards one. So for for this whole thing here to um, to uh, to for for this whole thing here to be less than one, we uh, we just need to concentrate on making this to be less than one because this is going to be the number one. Okay, so so concentrate on making this concentrate on making this to be less than one. If you can make this to be less than one, then the whole thing here will be less than one. If it's less than one, then it's going to converge. So concentrate on making this to be less than one. Well, absolute of something less than one, you can always, you can always, uh, you can always translate this to uh, to this. So now times uh, times everything by three, that will then give you this. Take away two, so that will then give you this. So what we've got so far is um, is this. For 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 this to converge, for this to converge, um, anything anything in this interval here will uh, will Will uh, will converge for sure. Anything in here will converge for sure. So remember, uh, this is to so the radius of convergence, the radius of convergence, it the radius of convergence will be three. The radius will be three. The radius will be three, and it's centered at two. So um, uh, so anything in this interval will converge. But the thing is, when when it's dead on negative five, if you put um, negative five uh, in into the x. That if you put negative five into a, into the x, then this value here, then this value here will be will be equal to one. Remember, when it comes to the ratio test, if this thing here equals to one, then it's inconclusive. If it's less than one, then it's going to converge. Greater than one, it's going to diverge. Equals to one, then uh, then it's inconclusive. So uh, so so if you put negative five into here, it will equal one. If you put um, if you put what was the other one? If you put um, if you put the number one into there, it will be equal to one, which will be inconclusive. So we need to manually check if this is going to converge or diverge, because one 
well, when it's one, it's inconclusive. So it could still converge, it could still diverge. So we need to manually check uh, negative five and manually need to check negative. Uh, uh, we will need to check one. Um, so so anything in between is going to converge, but we, it's inconclusive. It's inconclusive when it's negative 5 and 1. So we need to manually check negative 5 and 1, which we will do in the next video. Okay?